jump in and fill a role. So please welcome Toastmaster Matt Ditzwood. yourself walking through a beautiful green lush garden and as you walk through there you see the colorful fruit vegetables plants all different things <laughs> take a deep breath and you smell the aroma it's a beautiful aroma and it overwhelms you with joy in this garden in the background you see some giant trees and you wonder how long has it taken to grow those trees. And then you notice that they're sequoia trees. Many in here are probably familiar with sequoia trees, being from this area, but if you haven't seen them, they're gigantic. They're so gigantic that a car can drive right through them if there's a hole. If there's not, it won't drive through <laughs> <laughs> But the most amazing part to me was how big is a seed for sequoia? It's about as big as my pinky very small but inside that tiny bundle is the energy and the power to create a giant sequoia tree. James Allen wrote a book called As a Man Thinketh and in that book he says that a man's mind is likened to a garden that can be intelligently cultivated or allowed to run wild. What he's talking about is our minds being just like the nutrient rich soil that seeds can be put into and grow. And if not, possibly weeds will grow out of control. My goal today is to add value to your lives by sowing seeds of success that will help you along your path and achieve your goals. Think short term goals, two weeks to about a year. How many times should you try and accomplish a goal? To me, I think every I think you should try until you accomplish the goal. Or something else takes your distraction and maybe get a different goal. But at least keep going until you accomplish that goal or you find a goal that's even bigger than the one you're trying to accomplish. Over here, I have an avocado tree. This avocado tree is the culmination of two generations of trying to grow an avocado tree. <laughs> it took a long time to get it right. It's over and over. I know around here, avocado trees grow pretty easily. And if you've never tried to grow an avocado from an avocado pit, you know, one that you maybe you've eaten or found, it's probably tougher than you may think. So first, you have to put it into a, a cup. Well, first you have to eat the avocado. <laughs> you have to eat the avocado. And that avocado can be enjoyed many ways. Second part is, once you have that pit, you got to put three toothpicks in it and put about a third of the bottom of that pit into the water, not submerged, just enough so that the water can have an affect on it, but not an affect. So, according to the experts, the water will take two to six weeks to basically crack that open so that the seed can emit, not emit, the seed can release the roots into the water. And then you take that and you place it into your uh, potting soil. Well, that didn't happen for my wife. She tried something different. She noticed that it dried out. So she took the peeling off that was there and dried and planted that just to see what would happen. Guess what happened? <laughs> and this is the tree to prove it, that it works. Sometimes you have to think outside the box to make your dreams happen. So if you try and fail and adjust over and over again, and it's still not working, try something, think outside the box, ask opinions of others, come to Toastmasters and get other ideas. So I'd like to take you to three to five year long-term, medium to long-term goals. 
three to five years. What would it be like if you had to plant the seed of an idea and hold it for five years without ever seeing any kind of growth or anything? Over here, if I wouldn't have forgotten it, I would have a bamboo stalk, which would represent the Chinese bamboo tree. What's special about the bamboo tri the Chinese bamboo tree? It takes five years, roughly, from the time that it's planted from the seed before it grows into anything. So if you're a bamboo, if you're a Chinese bamboo farmer, you have to plant the seed, cultivate it, water it, and protect it from whatever might want to harm that bamboo tree for five years before you see anything. And then, just as you think it's not gonna work, that fifth year, within five weeks, the bamboo tree, that bamboo shoot will grow at the rate of 90 feet in that five weeks. So did the tree grow 90 feet in five years or did it grow 90 feet in five weeks? I say that it grew over a period of five years because without taking the time to cultivate that, water it, take care of it, and protect the seed, then that farmer or whoever planted it would not have seen the results of that bamboo tree growing um, that fast. So think of a, a goal that you've had three to five years ago, a goal that maybe you set and you've been getting discouraged, maybe it's not working, I just encourage you to continue to try, see what's coming up next. Keep doing what you're doing and it will work. And maybe you started a goal a five-year goal, maybe a 10-year goal, just this week, and it's gonna be a long time. So I suggest and encourage you to go for the long haul and see what results come from that. Well, Toastmasters and honored guests,